Today's video was prompted from some comments from you asking to see my composition portfolio from when I applied for my bachelor's degree way back in 2010. Though I should say for transparency's sake that this portfolio did not get me into several other colleges including uh, UCLA, Harvard, Yale, who cares about them anyway? Well, funny story about one of those colleges, UCLA actually played my piece talk this past April with their student orchestra. So even though I got rejected back in 2010 to be in their bachelor's program, like over 10 years later, their student orchestra is playing my orchestral music. There you go. You never know where life leads you. Now I have to warn you before we get going here. These pieces were written way back in 2008 and don't reflect my compositional style today at all. Nevertheless, I believe it's important to show you where I started and more importantly, give you a sense of what the undergraduate college admissions process is expecting. This is by no means a portfolio aimed for those aiming to get a graduate degree in composition. That portfolio is for another day, another video. Now in just a moment, you'll see and hear quite clearly that the admission folks are not expecting anything masterful. Yes, 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 go on. But they do want to hear music that they feel has potential. And that's really the key word here. So let's get started with my first piece from my undergraduate portfolio, Going Back. So right off the bat, you can see that this piece is scored for alto flute, bass clarinet, B flat clarinet, violin, cello, and piano. And you know, it's not the most nicely presented score, but it's very clear. And all the ideas are pretty simple. You can see that I have a very straightforward idea with the clarinet blowing air, and then the alto flute having this melody with some quarter tones sprinkled in. So at least that showed some facility with quarter tones even at that early time. And then it's changing the melody, of course, to the cello. Just a little bit of imitation going on. And then that low tone with the clarinet, adding some low sound to the mix. But nothing that special about it. It's just a melody with a few drones in the background. I wouldn't say it's anything masterful at this point, but there are just showing signs of what I would do in the future, and, and even in this very early piece. And then showing how you would transition to a completely new section, a completely contrasting section. This is about two minutes into the whole piece. It starts now. Showing the different techniques with the key slap and the flute, different rhythms in the piano. Notice this is the first time the piano even comes in. And then it has that kind of klezmer-like situation going on. So that's enough of going back. Now even though I have to admit, I would never want to hear this piece played ever again, but it was a good stepping stone for me to learn how to notate music as well as work with conservatory trained musicians. The next piece from my portfolio is quite a contrast from this last one. It's a work scored for chorus with text by the American poet Wallace Stevens. Oh, men of so here I split the voices between alto and bass and soprano and tenor. So right off the bat, it would show like the admissions what you would do with a voice. You wouldn't just have all of them sing at the same time. You would split them up into these two sets of voices. At least that's what I did. And then in this section, I would have them all play together and then have this imitation going on. And now it would be tenor and bass together and soprano and alto together. So right in the first minute, you're showing how you would put the voices together. And then, of course, that rhythmic interplay. That happened actually in the going back piece as well. I had the rhythm kind of occur about a minute, a minute into the piece, which I didn't really mean to do, but I guess I did it here as well. 
Okay, so that's just the first minute there. I want to show you that first minute because I think it's important at least to show you that there has to be some kind of level of interest happening in that first minute of music. Um, otherwise, the admissions officer probably will just move on to the next piece. Again, as you just heard, I can't stress enough how important it is to have a high level recording for your portfolio. This actually hides a lot of the imperfections that your composition might have. And if you take a look from the admission screener perspective, you have to realize that they're listening to a bunch of scores. And if they all sound like they're from the computer, they're just gonna get turned off by it. But then if they hear a really nice sounding recording, even if the composition is might not be as good as say this other person that had a MIDI recording, they're just going to naturally be more inclined to want to hear your entire composition that's recorded by live players. It's just human nature. Now for my third and final piece, I went with my orchestral work, Heart of the Hall, which I wrote back in 2009 for the LA Phil. I was actually in this young composer program only for high school students called the LA Phil Composer Fellowship Program. I think it's called something else now but I was part of the first cohort of composer students, which was really cool. Now, obviously not everybody's gonna have this sort of opportunity while they're in high school. I was just kind of at the right place, right time kind of situation. But having a piece like this, by the way, also doesn't preclude you from applying to a composition degree. I mean, none of these folks are expecting you to have an orchestral piece when you're 17, 18 years old. But since I had one, of course, I'm going to submit it for this undergraduate application. So with this, it starts out with this horn melody. And you can already see I have the strings divided into divisi with the harp punctuating some things with the percussion. So right from the first page, I'm showing signs that I'm able to orchestrate, even if it's a really simple orchestration like this. and hearing the different melodies overlapping on top of each other between the violin and the solo woodwinds. So this might be a little bit complicated, especially for a first orchestra piece, but in a way it's kind of a copycat of Debussy, Ravel, that kind of thing. It's nothing entirely original that I'm doing here, but at least it's showing signs to the admissions officer that you've read some orchestration books, you've experimented, with how strings sound together and then also looking at things like dovetailing, a very important orchestrational tool. So doing these from the first few pages of the orchestra score is extremely important and will show the admissions officer or whoever's looking at your piece that you have some level of chops. Not a lot, but some level at least to get you into an undergraduate program. Now as I said, not everyone's going to have a chance to record an orchestral work for college but that's totally okay. The idea is that when you get to college, you'll be able to work with the student orchestra there. The important thing that I hope you get out of this video is that your portfolio should have these three things. Number one, it needs to be notated legibly, hopefully through a notation program like Sibelius, Finale, or Dorico. Number two, it needs to be contrasting. You need to have contrasting pieces. You don't need to have an orchestral piece but hopefully one piece has instruments, maybe another piece has vocals, maybe another piece has solo piano, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It needs to be different. And number three, hopefully you'll have some kind of access to conservatory trained musicians that can actually record your music to a high level. That way you'll be able to stand out from everybody else that's probably sending in MIDI recordings from their Sibelius or Finale mock-ups. And I just wanna take a moment to ask that if you like what you see, Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. It really helps get this video out to as many composers and musicians as possible. Thanks for doing that. Now, if you got to the end of this video and still feel like you want to have some more guidance with your own composition portfolio, I'm happy to do so. I've helped students in the past get into undergraduate programs like NYU, USC, Vanderbilt, Michigan, Northwestern, etc. And I'm happy to do that for you as well. Now, get writing. <laughs>